In the last video, we did a quick setup of Unreal as well as installing Rider. So what we're gonna do right now to continue on with this series is we're gonna take a look at the interface and then we're gonna write some very simple code in both Blueprints and C++ and I'll show you how they start to connect. Before we get started, if you're interested in learning more, find this video helpful, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and ring the bell notification to help support the channel. All right, let's get started. So if you take a look, they've cleaned up a lot of the windows that you would have seen in Unreal Engine or to make it a lot more approachable. So what we're gonna do is we'll start off with the most obvious, which is the viewport. This is the window into your world. This is where you'll be placing all of your actors, characters, pawns, everything that happens within your game happens within the viewport. Now the viewport has different menus, move tool, you have your rotation tool, you have your scale tool. You also have the ability to snap to grid. So in this case, it's 10 Unreal units. One unit I believe is a centimeter. When we click on the menu within the viewport, we're given additional menu options. So at the very top, we have our main menu. So at the very start, we have the create, you have your content, blueprints, cinematic and we'll get into each of these as we go throughout the course the approach that i take is only learn what you need to know right now as opposed to learning everything so we have a variety of tools this is your landscaping tool we also have our play button this will allow us to actually simulate the game and then we also have the platform which will show you the platforms that you can actually build on we have our world outliner this is every single object that's within your world after the world outliner we have the details panel this contains all of the information about about the object that you have selected. Hidden from view, your place actors panel. There's multiple ways of placing actors. You can click create, or we can use the place actors panel, which is similar to what you would have seen in Unreal Engine 4. We also have our content drawer. Now our content drawer contains everything that our project holds. This is all of our content. Now that I've docked it in the layout, you'll see this is very similar to the Unreal Engine 4 view. So this is Unreal Engine 5, the interface. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and create our first blueprint. And in this blueprint, simply all we're gonna do is try to print something to the console. Let's make a new folder and I'm gonna right click and then I can create a blueprint class. Now the type of class we're gonna create, let's stick with actor. We're gonna call it hello world underscore BP. And I'm gonna double click and I like to drag and dock it. So this is our blueprint. You have three main areas within your blueprint. You have your viewport, your construction script, and your event graph. So this blueprint is an actor, and an actor is just something that can be placed within our world. So this is essentially our Hello World blueprint. We're gonna ignore the viewport, the construction script for now, and focus only on the event graph. So to move within your blueprint, I just right click and shift items over. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna click and hold and drag off from event begin play. So what event begin play is, once this object is spawned, it will run this script. So we're gonna try and find a way to print to the console. So I'm gonna just type in print and it has something saying print string. Okay, so now that we've placed this here, let me lightly show you the flow. As, event, as this event fires, it flows from arrow to arrow. And once it hits the print string, it'll execute everything within this function. Let's just type in hello. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna save it and we're gonna compile it. So now that we have our brand new script, hello world, we actually need to place it somewhere in our world. And as you can see, this is our hello world blueprint. So to view this script, we'll head up to world, output log, and this is our entire log. So now as I hit play, see right here, hello world. So we've now been able to print something console. Let's see how we can do the exact same thing, but do it within C++. So in our content drawer, we'll go down to C++ classes. We'll right click. Uh, we'll actually go into the learn um, UE5, which is our project. We're gonna right click and hit new C++ class. Now we created an actor class. We're gonna call this hello world CPP. Now that the class is created, you'll see that we have something similar to the blueprint. We have begin play and tick. And if we go back to Unreal, and let's actually go into our, our blueprint, we have begin play and we have tick. That corresponds to this exact begin play and tick. So we should be able to produce the exact same message within code. So let's try and do something to UE log, log temp. We'll do warning, that should make it yellow before it wasn't yellow. 
and then we'll do hello world okay so what we'll do we'll go build we can either hit Control b or you go up to build and then build a project we'll go back into unreal and we'll have to find our hello world cpp we'll click it drag it into the world and make sure that we go to window and we go output log and now let's hit play and we should see hello world and here we go log temp warning hello world so this is where the power of unreal engine really comes into full effect we've created a c class and you can just drag in your c class as you've seen and it would work so what we're actually going to do is we're going to right click on this and we're going to create a blueprint from this c class so when i right click on my c class I can create a blueprint class based on this C++ class. And we're gonna call this BP. And let's select the location we had it. Let's create blueprint. So now we've created a blueprint from that C++ class. So if I go now and let's drag this one into the world, and if I hit play, we would expect to see the same hello world with the yellow. And here it is, log 10 hello world. So now I have access to everything I did within code, but not only that, we can build on this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try have the blueprint class print a message and see if our C++ class also prints a message. Let's do it again within begin play. Let's do print string, change this to hi John, and don't forget to compile, save, and let's see what happens. So as you can see, remember our blueprints is saying hi John, and our C++ is saying, Hello world. So in this video, we took a quick look at the Unreal Engine interface. We were able to create a blueprint class, write hello world to the console, create a C++ class, write hello world to the console, and then create a blueprint class that is based off of our C++ class. That gave us access to everything that we wrote in C++, so we could also use it within blueprints. If you found this video helpful and would like to learn more, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, ring the bell notification to help support the channel. We're going to continue on with this series in our next video.